Whew. Okay, so we put the dress on. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am currently on my way to go get my hair done. And also this weekend is the bridal shower. The question is, do I have an outfit for this week's bridal shower? I do not. <laughs> I barely even know what I'm going to do as far as that like I don't have an idea in mind the only thing I know for sure is that I'm getting my hair done also I think I might need to get my nails touched up because I have a crack in one of them and I don't know if it's gonna last past this bridal shower I'm gonna hope for it but I guess we'll see beyond that I do want to express what's been going on in my head I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of what's been happening as far as my preparations for the wedding and my mindset in regards to what I shall look like first and foremost what I've been doing lately is sort of experimenting with my hair that's why I got those long locks you know for the previous situations like the dinner and my uh, engagement shoot I did those long locks because I wanted to see if I liked them or if I could garner some type of inspiration from my wedding hairstyle. I originally had my hair appointment scheduled for probably five days ago, but when I got there, we ran into a snag and that snag was we were originally going to try a skinnier lock and so she purchased faux locks because she keeps the hair. So um, I didn't have to bring any hair, but she purchased faux locks that were skinnier, but it just so happened those locks were too skinny for my locks. It, we didn't know until I got there, and then also they didn't have loops in them. And for anybody who does hair, you know that if you're putting a faux lock on, it's best if you have a loop so that you can easily loop the real hair within that lock and then twist it with like some Marley braiding hair or whatever. Well, we couldn't do that because it just so happened those itty, itty bitty locks didn't even have a loop. So I'm not sure how people use those locks, but we ended up trying to reschedule because she didn't have um, time to go and get the traditional size faux locks. And um, it was just, I wasn't feeling good anyway. So I was content with us rescheduling, especially knowing that the bridal shower is this weekend. So we have plenty of time. Problem though is since we're going the original route or the previous faux lock route, that means I'm not utilizing this moment to experiment with a different lock size. Meaning that I'm not pre preparing for my wedding the way I initially planned to. Because the point is, I don't know what hairstyle I want for my wedding. I don't know if I want it to be similar to how I had it for this these last couple of events or if I want to go some other type of route I'm still figuring that out <laughs> so because I know that most girlies with locks they do like a updo and I sort of want to step outside of that box because for one I do like more fuller hairstyles because I feel like it frames my face better but then also I just I, I don't know to me, that's a little more casual for what I'm looking for. And I think that the hairstyle that I sort of have envisioned fits my dress better. But I just, I'm still, I'm sort of feeling like I'm pushed back to square one because this lock style was supposed to show me if I preferred a skinnier lock versus a larger lock. And I'm now not able to really discern which one I prefer. But at the same time, if I had them known, I would have been able to maybe order a different type of lock, but never mind, because it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna have to experiment again anyway. And so we are totally unsure what hairstyle we're gonna do for the wedding. That is one thing I'm still trying to figure out. But in the meantime, this hairstyle will do perfect for the bridal shower and for whatever else I end up doing. Side note, I did at some point purchase bridal shower outfits thinking that they would be perfect all to try them on and realize they aren't giving what I thought. So that's technically why I don't have an outfit for the bridal shower. 
I was looking for like a, a shorter dress that was still giving like feminine and cute not you know too too short or anything like that but um I ordered a dress that just isn't giving so I'm probably gonna go to somewhere like I don't know TJ Maxx or something the bridal shower isn't really my big concern my big concern is the wedding okay it's a totally different day um I should have picked up the phone I mean I should have picked up the camera a minute ago but I am on my way to go and pick up a bridal shower dress uh, me my best friend and her co-worker which is sort of like my friend too I'm claiming her too we about to go to Target and Marshall's right now just because they're right next to each other and hopefully I can find something there I'm not really pressed about it though um, and then don't judge my hair because I did just get it done but I haven't done anything in it and I haven't done anything to it I don't like to get any product in my hair like for example when people are normally getting like these types of styles the hairstylist will put like gel or some type of jam in it to keep the the hair like slick at the top well I have locks so I don't want for that to produce buildup in my locks so I opt for it to just be no product which <clears throat> When I do do my hair, it looks fine because I just use a little bit of mousse and um, I go from there. But I'm not doing my hair because tomorrow I'm doing my hair and the girls know that it's always better looking when you didn't put product on top of product. So I'm not, I don't have any product in my hair right now. And I didn't do my edges either for that exact same reason. But um, yeah, so other than that, I do also need to start packing because very soon my lease will be up. And um, as it stands, we currently have a little over a month until we have our wedding. And it just so happens that my lease is ending around that same time. So I'm going to go and pack some things as well. Tomorrow is the bridal shower. So, you guys are going to see a little bit of that as well. Okay, so today did not end up going the way that we originally planned. I just came back from doing the shopping ordeal, except I did not get a dress. So, I won't even bother taking you through that fail of a trip. We did have a good time, though, as girls, and when we picked up some Chick-fil-A. But either way, it's really late. And now I am packing, which really, I have this weird thing where for some reason my mind won't allow me to do anything in between zero or 100. So it's really hard for me to pack if I'm not like getting everything, if that makes sense. Because I don't have any boxes, for example. I don't have a U-Haul. I have very limited space in my car, etc. So I am sort of trying to jump over that mental hurdle of trying to pack what makes sense for now. So what I've come, come to the conclusion of is I am wanting to pack this table right here. That's what I'm taking with me. I also wanna take four of these, which I only have four, so that works out. They're just these um, baskets. Uh, what is it, like rattan, rattan or something like that? I'm gonna take these baskets because um, they'll be useful. And I also wanna take the, I think I'm gonna take my mirror as well. It's the next day. I am currently um, getting dressed because in about 30 to 45 minutes, I need to be on my way to my bridal shower. I am currently at my fiance's house and my mom is on her way, AKA my fiance is picking her up. I have been packing and transporting for about a good month now. I got a lot of my items in this room because this is the room that I'm going to be having like a closet just because I have I have a lot of stuff as a 27 year old woman okay so um I suppose what I'm gonna do now because I think I have the question of am I going to put on my makeup first before I put on my dress or put on my dress first and then put on my makeup 
I'm thinking I'm gonna do my makeup in here first. My hair desperately needs to be tamed a little bit because I got a couple flyaways, but this is the thing that I really wanted to touch on before I started getting ready. So, so this is my dress right here. And as you can see, there's a very large flower in the front of it. Um, I knew that when I purchased it, but did I know what it would look like in person? Not so much. I ordered this from Fashion Nova and a couple weeks ago I tried it on and I wasn't feeling it. And so I had in mind that I was going to purchase another dress to replace this one and I didn't know what I was going to do with this one. However, I waited so last minute just because I'm sort of like not in the mindset of my bridal shower is now <laughs> but when i decided i was going to purchase a second dress i went and that was yesterday now i think i told you guys that it wasn't a successful trip i did go and look for dresses at marshall's target and i think i gave up after that now i did i wouldn't have originally picked target but that's a whole nother story either way i wasn't necessarily finding anything that wasn't giving picnic because I understand a lot of the white dresses that are in right now are very casual. So I decided that I was going to just make this dress work. Now, again, I was going to replace this dress. So what I'm going to do now is hope that it looks nice enough that I won't be um, not self-conscious, but just like not feeling my outfit. But at the same time, sometimes what you're missing in the outfit is confidence and a nice hairstyle. So I'm thinking that with those two items that I didn't have when I tried this on originally, I'm going to make this dress look better for me. But the biggest reason why I don't like the dress is simply that this flower is a little droopy, but overall is really large. And sometimes you can't even tell that it's a flower. This is the little center piece here and then it flaps that way but I like the back it's silk or satin on the back and then I have these white shoes also from Fashion Nova they are pearl shoes I have them to go with this now what did I purchase them thinking that they would go with this dress necessarily no and I wouldn't normally pair the two but I'm sort of over purchasing white items that I'm just going to make it work with what I have. It's either this or my gold pair of shoes that I've worn to my engagement dinner and my engagement shoe. I'm done with those shoes for a minute, so I'm going to try these out. But these shoes are supposed to last me up until my wedding at this point because I'm not buying any more white stuff. I have so many white items. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thought that I'd be healing now I didn't think I'd have to feel this now I thought I would've moved on But somehow the feeling's still strong Like I'll be on my way out Thinking that I'm good right suddenly You pass by now you're stuck on my mind Thinking I was done now But I guess I'll never be tired Of you Tissue. 
<laughs> okay, so we put the dress on. I'm about to see about some earrings. I'm not sure quite yet which earrings I'm gonna put on. This is super candid because I'm like rushing. My best friend's on her way to pick us both up. I don't know. Not too okay. Okay. <laughs> And also, I never wear this perfume, but I told myself I needed to give this perfume a moment so that it'll remind me of something. A flower, the flower that she wears. Yeah, so I think so. <laughs> so I'm trying to like at least put like a moment on this perfume so that I can smell it and be like, this was my bridal shower perfume. Since I never wore it before. You kill it. You kill it. <laughs> Bring tears to a mother's eyes. Aww. That perfume. <laughs> that perfume. Yeah, she, she likes it. She just out the open. She out Tess. Tess. She's getting you in trouble down here. He tried. He, he like, I didn't do it. It was fine. Oh my gosh. That perfume is a good Yeah. Yeah. So we have dress, Fashion Nova. We have shoes, Fashion Nova. And obviously, my hair. We just got that done. I just did my makeup, earrings, Fashion Nova, two bracelets, Fashion Nova. By the way, these were from a totally different event. These were actually for my birthday, my 26th birthday. So um, they came in handy and they haven't tarnished since, since considering I'm 27 now, it's been a year. But other than that, we are officially dressed and I love it. It looks so cute. Let me show you. What do you think? Here now. I got this for Osh. Mm -hmm. I had Pearl's mom make it and she does really well with cups. Now, you know, Osh, she is very like hands on on everything. That's gorgeous. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. And then on this body, just have some stuff. Can you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy because she went into it so quickly that I didn't have enough time to propose like you're supposed to for your bridal party. Oh. So I didn't even have enough time. She just jumped in, which I'm like, okay, so well, I gotta get her something. Speaking? Yeah, you're supposed to like propose to your bridal party, like, will you be my maid of honor, my bridesmaid? I don't propose to you because you're my mom. I don't know. But I was supposed to propose to her, but she just jumped right in. And most of these events wouldn't be she events. Proposed to you? Mm -hmm. She proposed to me. I we knew I was going to be her maid of honor, but you were supposed, she was supposed to get proposed to. And the thing is, is she knew that I was so low maintenance that she wasn't going to allow for me to be like, I don't want this, I don't want that. So she hurried up and started making it happen. That's how we got the engagement dinner. That's how we got the bridal shower and all of these other things. So it's like, I have to at least get her something because I wouldn't have had these moments if it wasn't for her. Cause I wouldn't have asked for them. I would have been content with us just getting married and having our honeymoon. So I'm like, dang, and I wish I could have had more for but I knew she would like this. I'm back. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, God, you got me. You got me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but I'm back in back in my role. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm just happy that you like. I knew you would because I'm like, she loves a good white and gold moment. No, that and that's beautiful. our colors. That is beautiful. That's like our colors, but I didn't want to throw green because I'm like, it's still, I still want it to be neutral enough. So you I was just giving her the sweet. We haven't had a time to use the gold that's in your um wedding so mm -hmm. today is gold okay mm -hmm. today is focused on gold and i want you to know that this is like a golden moment okay this is your golden season yeah. you are more precious than gold just like the bible says so i'm taking that as a symbol i'm using it as symbolically that that's what this season is for you. Do, 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 do. i
know that answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two more questions, and then we're going to go on to the next game. I'm really excited about the next game. Oh, God. I like this one. Snore 
because they packed last minute. Because they packed last minute. Gotta check in. Okay. Okay. All right. Hit that boy every time. <laughs> 